Hey there, football fans. Welcome back to Soccer News Center. Today, we're diving into the incredible victory of Arsenal over Manchester City and the impact it could have on the Premier League title race. In a momentous step for Mikel Arteta's Arsenal side, they finally broke their 12-match losing streak against Pep Guardiola's team. And what a way to do it. With a deflected late winner from Gabriel Martinelli, the Gunners secured a 1-0 victory that sent shockwaves through the league. Arteta couldn't contain his excitement, hailing this win as a significant milestone in the evolution of his team. He believes that the mental resilience gained from previous setbacks played a crucial role in breaking the hex. Losing to City in different ways last season taught them valuable lessons, and today, they showed real maturity on the pitch. Speaking of Gabriel Martinelli, his return from injury couldn't have come at a better time. After missing the previous five games, he stepped onto the field and made an instant impact. His shot, which deflected off Nathan Aikas' head, wrong-footed Ederson and secured the victory for Arsenal. Arteta couldn't help but praise Martinelli's incredible mentality at such a young age. Having players like him can truly change the game for a team. But it wasn't all celebrations for Arsenal. Bukayo Saka, one of their star players, will be sidelined due to an injury picked up in a previous match. Arteta confirmed that he won't be available for England's upcoming games. Additionally, William Saliba, who put up an impressive performance denying Erling Haaland any side of goal, has also pulled out of France's squad to manage a toe problem. On the other side, Pep Guardiola was left frustrated by City's performance. With only four shots throughout the game, it was their lowest tally in the 274 Premier League games he has overseen. However, Guardiola remains optimistic, recalling how City chased down an eight-point Arsenal lead last season. It's football, and anything can happen. And finally, after the final whistle, an altercation took place between Erling Holland, Kyle Walker, Jack Grealish, and Nicholas Jover, the Arsenal set-piece coach who previously worked at City. Guardiola chose not to comment on the incident, leaving us all curious about what really happened. That's all for today's update. What are your thoughts on Arsenal's victory? Do you think they have what it takes to challenge for the title this season? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more exciting football news. Until next time, keep kicking it on the pitch.